area. Stay sharp. This way. Over here. <laughs> This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Out. 
I imagined that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks.
Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Jane Brown. You better away from me. Don't worry. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. <laughs>